Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Little Dragon Reader. Today I have a fun-filled story for you all. It's called Little Donkey and the Babysitter. Joining us today is Dorothy the Donkey. Dorothy the Donkey came to see what Little Donkey was up to because Little Donkey is one of her very close friends. Little Donkey and the Babysitter Mama Donkey was going out to see a film with Billy Goat, so Nanny Hen came to stay with Little Donkey. Don't go, said Little Donkey. I won't be long, promised Mama Donkey. Little Donkey thought for a moment. I am a big donkey, he said. I can stay by myself. Absolutely not, said Mama Donkey. Now give me a hug and be a good boy with Nanny Hen. Hello, little one, said Nanny Hen, making herself comfortable on the couch. We're going to have a lovely evening together. Little Donkey poured the tea. How would you like a nice bowl of oatmeal? asked Nanny Hen. No, thank you. I want fries, please, said Little Donkey. Fries, said Nanny Hen. Mama didn't say anything about fries. Mama always lets me have fries, said Little Donkey. <coughs> Nanny Hen decided to have something tasty to eat, too. She opened the cupboard and took out a big hunk of cheese. Mama says, you're not allowed to eat the cheese, said Little Donkey. But Nanny Hen ate the whole thing anyway. Tell me a story, please, said Little Donkey. Okay, one bedtime story, said Nanny Hen. Once upon a time, there was a tired little donkey who brushed his teeth and got ready for bed as quickly as he could. He couldn't wait to get into his nice, comfortable bed. Little Donkey didn't like Nanny Hen's story. I want to play outside, he said. Oh, it's much too late for that, said Nanny Hen. Mama always lets me, said Little Donkey. Well, all right then, said Nanny Hen. Just for a little while. Little Donkey ran outside. Jackie! he shouted. Little donkey! shouted Jackie. My mama has to run an errand, so I'm coming out to play with you. They ran through the garden and jumped in the mud and splashed in the pond. Be careful, boys! shouted Nanny Hen from the window. Little donkey got all his toys out. What a terrible mess you are making, said Nanny Hen, shaking her head. Mama always lets me, said Little Donkey, giggling. My mama lets me do everything, he said to Jackie. So does mine, said Jackie. She is so nice. Jackie, time to come home, shouted Jackie's mama. Uh-oh, said Jackie, and off he ran. Little Donkey sat happily in the grass. He'd had fun with Jackie. Now be a good boy and pick up your toys, said Nanny Hen. Mama never makes me, said Little Donkey. Nanny Hen looked at him sternly. That's enough now. Time to tidy up. Little Donkey pouted. I want my mama, he said. I want you to go away. And just as Little Donkey started to run inside, Ow! he howled. Little Donkey had fallen down and banged his knees and nose. Oh dear, did you hurt yourself, little one? Yes, wailed Little Donkey. Come and sit with me, said Nanny Hen. A chocolate will make me feel better, said Little Donkey. And Mama lets you have chocolates? asked Nanny Hen, winking. Oh yes, Mama always lets me, said
said Little Donkey confidently. Soon the chocolate was gone, but the pain was still there. Perhaps some lemonade would help, said Little Donkey. All right then, said Nanny Hen. She had some too, and this time Little Donkey didn't mind. Story, please, said Little Donkey. A story? What should it be about? said Nanny Hen. About a little donkey who fell down, said Little Donkey. Okay, said Nanny Hen. Once upon a time, there was a little donkey who fell down, and he hurt himself terribly. Little Donkey quite liked this story, but he was getting very sleepy. Little Donkey yawned. Has Little Donkey been a good boy? asked Mama Donkey. Nanny Hen smiled. Oh yes, he's been a very good boy, she said, winking at Mama Donkey. Wake up, sleepyhead, said Mama Donkey. It's bath time. Nanny says I don't have to, said Little Donkey. Nanny says I don't have to. <coughs> Did you enjoy that story, Dorothy? Little Donkey had a wonderful time in the end, even though at the beginning he didn't think he was going to have that much fun with Nanny Hen. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay tuned to see more stories from me. Little Dragon Reader. Goodbye.